Hey guys, it's Wednesday evening here in the Philippines, so it is time for us to do our chase car video. And today we have a Christmas theme, and as I mentioned, we're doing red and green cars. And uh, I picked six green machines that have the green body and six ultra reds. And I've kind of nicknamed it the 12 chase cars of Christmas. Uh, tried to pick some cars we haven't seen for a while. These are all the ones that we have unboxed throughout the past year. Um, so these are ones I don't think we've looked at for quite a while. So I brought them back out for us to take a quick peek at. Kind of helps set the holiday mood. That's why I left uh, the Christmas tree farm or Christmas tree lot, I guess I would call it, instead of a farm. It's more of like a lot. Um, to kind of help set this Christmas spirit type of mood. So, anyways, uh, what you see in front of you are three ultra reds, and the first one here looks really cool with the Christmas tree on it, and that's what I really like about the ultra red chase cars and the green bodied green machines, because they could actually be real cars instead of having all this gold trim or no paint and raw uh, super chases, chrome chases, and all of that stuff. These actually look like real cars. So this just looks like a burgundy or candy red 64 Country Squire wagon from Ford. Uh, it's really a nice piece. One of my favorite wagons. Uh, actually, it's my favorite wagon chase car, but I do not have many wagon chase cars. A couple super treasure hunts and I think a raw greeny and then this ultra red. And this is by far my favorite out of my wagon chase vehicles. So as you can see, it's very detailed. License plate says Squire. Kind of cool. That's the one thing I really like about the Auto World stuff is that they always have a vanity plate. Something that has some kind of significance to the car or something, the package, the option package, or something. So this is a really beautiful car. Um, as I said, I really dig the, um, the red paint. It could be an actual paint option on one of these. This one should have been like a baby blue or turquoise blue, can't quite remember, but yeah, this is a very nice looking car and it looks great with the Christmas tree on the roof. So that was one I had to bring back out and I know we haven't seen it for a while. So the other one is a square body. And yes, I always bring out the square bodies and the other ultra red you've seen the other week, it's all ultra red with the black wall tires and then you've seen the black one. Uh, the regular variant of it in the Black Friday video I did. This is the second regular unlifted 4x4 variant Super Chase from Auto World. This is when they had the 76 Bicentennial and then the 76 Olympic uh, Canadian variant. This is the Canadian variant, but they used the same chase in even the Bicentennial package. But as you can see, the Olympic rings on the side, and then it still has the red hood, and then the red tampos, but it really blends in like it's kind of ghosted in with the ultra red so you can't even really tell those red stripes are there um but even the plate it says olympic so that's where this comes from and this has the white interior and ultra red base uh yeah that's the one thing i forgot to point out with the country squire it's just your cast base black interior the only ultra red feature on this thing is the paint the engine still the ford blue everything like that so uh nowadays on the ultra reds you kind of usually get more than just the paint it's usually white interior ultra red interior white base or ultra red base red tires white tires red wheels and i've even heard that some of them have like white engines and red engines and things of this nature i do not have any of the engine variants yet but i do have a bunch of the others uh with different color tires and i don't have the wheel um chase one yet i think that was just done in the recent series i never seen ultra red wills prior to this last release so 
they're getting a little crazy with them. I like these ones that can actually be real cars. Uh, I do like colored tires, but I do still prefer the ones that you could say are actual real vehicles. So this is our 76 Olympic C10 that was only sold in Canada. Then I brought back one of our Ford F-150s. This is the first Ultra Red F-150. And this is when they released the first variants, which was the blue and then the gray one. Um, and then this is the Ultra Red variant. As you can see, Ultra Red interior, white base. This is a really nice, heavy, heavy casting. The only thing that they slacked on, and I've pointed this out before, is just these silver painted headlights. If they would have put a tampo, preferably acrylic, but um, still tampo would have been a little better than just a silver paint. Um, but still very nice casting, nice detail on the chassis. Um, and as I said, very heavy opening tailgate, opening hood. Same thing with the uh, square body. It has the opening tailgate also. Um, yeah, trying to get this hood open for you guys. There we go. So, yeah, this is another one we haven't seen for a while. Um, I have this one in the second variant of the Ultra Red, and it has the Ultra Red chassis and a white interior, and the only difference between the regular releases, too, there was a white one, and uh, I believe... It was a red, almost like ultra red, and the ultra red is like very hard to tell from the regular release, so the only way to really tell that one, if you've seen them side by side, if it was a red card with the red truck, the only way to tell was if it had a white interior and red base, because the maroon that they use on that truck is very, very close to the ultra red. Um, but anyways, so I had to bring one of them out, and show you guys because we haven't looked at it for a while and it also looks really cool with a Christmas tree in the bed so yeah that kind of helps set the mood with the wagon with the Christmas tree on the roof and then the trucks with the Christmas trees in the bed so that's three of the altar reds now let's go to three of the green machines so here is one that's really Christmassy, and I have to show you the regular counterpart with this because this is like the perfect Christmas combination. This green with the white top on the 67 RT Cornet, the first year for the RT. Really cool car and really nicely done. This is from, I don't remember if it's the Dodge anniversary or the Hemi anniversary. I think it's the Dodge anniversary, like the 80th year of Dodge, something like that anniversary set. And all the cars were originally maroon in that set. And that's why I said, like, the regular counterpart and then the greeny look really Christmassy next to each other. And actually, I may do some pics on Instagram for these two side by side because they look really really good together that dark red that looks like ultra red outer world paint and the green machine like uh dark green i wanted to say something else but i kind of lost my train of thought there sorry guys but yeah emerald green that was the word i was looking for so anyways they look great sitting next to each other very christmasy so that's the only regular variant i'm going to bring out and show you and it was just kind of easily placed next to mr norms that's why i brought it back out to show you but yeah this is a really nice looking greeny uh, like this casting, really nice casting, but the only problem is they lacked on detail on the grill. As you can see, they did great with this rear tail panel with those louvers with the chrome, and it's exactly how the grill should have looked, but there's nothing there. It's just silver with the double headlights on each side and an RT badge, so very badly done grill detail and they did this on a lot of the 67 rts i don't know if they ever fixed it or not but even the convertible i got over there in the garage where the guys are working on it even has this very plain undetailed grill so beautiful casting besides that um and that's easily fixed with some tampos just 
put some black lines on the grill or put a tampo over it or something or you could even paint some black lines on the grill if you wanted to to add some more detail. So next Greenie is probably the most unrealistic car of the group. It's very cool car. I love it, but it has the green wheels. The green Cuda, Hemi Cuda with the green wheels. But as I said, for a chase car, I can tolerate the green wheels with the green paint. It's not so bad because it's a chase car. Prefer just green bodies. That's it. Green tires I do like. As I said, I have that uh, thing for that fantasy looking uh, chase cars with the colored tires. It's one of my things I like to collect. So if this one I had green tires too, I would have loved it. But green wheels with a green body is fine. Green wheels and a green base I'm not so fond of anymore. But very cool car. And number 102, as like the other one, it's actually numbered to be in the regular releases the chases were not numbered separate for that one but with this one it was but this is an older release gl muscle cuda well that one's not too old either it's from 2016 or 17 i believe and as i said it was like some anniversary with dodge so let's go ahead and do one more greeny and then we'll go back to the Ultra Reds. Since we've been on Mopars, I will bring out the only Ford Greeny, and then the other ones are going to be Mopars. Um, so this is a 78 Mustang II Cobra from the Black Bandit series. And this thing looks really good with the green, the blacked out wheels, the black bumpers, the Cobra on the hood. Looks really, really cool. The T-top release very nice car number 105 and nice detailed tail lights headlights everything this is a really cool casting actually was never a huge huge fan of these cars but this casting is really nicely done to represent these mustang twos that were built from 74 until 78 pretty cool little car so um let's go ahead and go back to our ultra reds and the next one is a challenger and this is a 72 challenger i believe rally edition and uh nice car this has the white base and that's it though it doesn't have any other feature ultra red paint of course and then the white base so really cool car and what does the plate say on this one i kind of forget on some of these i don't have the packages out a uh, three two one go like it's counting down for a race Kind of unique nothing to uh, correspond with the car just kind of a cool vanity plate three two one unless it was part of an old Dodge ad slogan possibly but yeah cool car as you can see it has the big bumper guards the bigger bumpers so this is probably actually like a 74 maybe with the big bumper guards and such. So nice car. And as I pointed out before, it would be nice if the Auto World team would redo their Mopar rally wheels. The Mopar rally wheels on the Auto World cars just look a little bit too small. And they're a little bit, I don't know, um, too small and just lacking detail. The green lights are much better uh, done, I think, in my opinion. So then we have our Ultra Red 64 
Galaxy 500 with the teardrop hood, the 427 car, really nice car, really cool car, drag edition, has the silver painted stilly rims, very sweet looking car. What I like to do is, this says why try, because I had the try power, so it probably had a 390 in it maybe. Um, so anyways, it's pretty cool plate, why try? And then, uh, anyways, back to what I was going to tell you about the Country Squire with this Galaxy on a trailer behind it makes for some great picks. So, very cool car. I'm kind of curious just to see the engine. Try to get it to focus in. Yeah, you can see that oval shaped air cleaner for the tri power. Really cool. So that's the fifth Ultra Red. So last but not least on the Ultra Reds is a 58 Plymouth Belvedere. This is a non-Christine Belvedere. The one we haven't seen for a while. As you can see it has the red top. Usually all the Christines have the white roof. And then this is an open wood casting. Really cool engine. These cars with the dual quads. And the plate just says 58 Fury on this one. Really nice car. And this one has the gold inserts instead of the white inserts like Christine. And the more elegant like gold center hubcaps. So this I think was a little bit higher end model than what Christine was probably. So really cool piece. Then, back to our green machines. So trying to line these up so when we do our clothes, we have a nice look at all of these cars and such. And so, back to our last three greenies. So, next one is another Mopar. And I was wrong, we do have one Chevy, but we'll save it for last. Then, this is the 70 Plymouth Roadrunner. This is really cool. This is another older one from the GL Muscle Series. The regular variant is uh, orange. And this is a 446 pack car. Really cool piece. And this one also was placed into the regular numbers. They did not number the greenies separate on this series. Nice piece. Really love green light 70 Plymouth B bodies. Even their 68s and 69s are really nicely done too. And as I said, like green lights Mopar rallies are much nicer than Auto Worlds. Just their details a little bit better. I know some people complain about the fat too wide tires, but I think I would rather have the tires a little too wide with better detail on the wheels. But I think they could do both. I think they could do great detail on the wheels and have a little bit narrower tire. But as we see with the Outer Worlds, it's not possible. They try to get the tires down pat with the width and such, but then that kind of hurts the detail of the wheel and then green light has really nice detail on their Mopar rallies but the tire is a little bit too thick but anyways um still I can tolerate it both manufacturers make really nice Magnum 500 wheels and they both have nice width tires not too wide not too skinny well as we can see on the Cornette these are the Magnum 500s nice width they look great uh don't have a challenger or anything at my disposal from outer world right now to show you guys their magnums but you probably know if you're an avid collector so anyways that's our 70 roadrunner and then we will go to our last mopar and this is modern mopar well actually 
10-year-old Mopar, but still modern enough than what we've been seeing. This is a 2010 Challenger RT, also from the GL Muscle Series. Love these retro chrome 5 spokes that they put on these cars back in like 09 and 10. And this one, once again, is kind of numbered in the regular run. And it's kind of weird to see that the sticker is like just placed on the mufflers like that randomly. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah, nicely done car, though. This is one of the nicer, like, modern challengers on the market. I haven't been able to get the Hellcat, the newer style with the flares on the fenders from Auto World Jet. Still waiting to get my hands on one of them. So that's actually really nice for the modern ones. But the older ones, this is one of the nicer castings. Kyosho makes a nice one too, but I'm more of a fan of the green light one actually. The only advantage Kyosho has is it has the side mirrors. But I actually think lacking side mirrors, the green light is more detailed than the Kyosho. So really nice car. And as always, it's opening hood and kind of hard to see down in there, but it's got the modern 5.7 Hemi in this one. I don't think it's a 6.1. Um, so nice car. Now, last but not least is an old classic, and it's kind of a combination of red and green. This is the Green Machine 39 Chevy sedan delivery from Shell and it just looks pretty cool with green with the red fenders then it looks just crazy with the yellow wheels so it's like a smorgasbord of colors here um but yeah it does look cool it looks very Christmassy with the red fenders and then the green body and such and this is a really nice casting from green light uh, I do like it. I have the Chevy uh, parts truck from like a dealership parts vehicle and it's very nicely detailed. Although the bumpers, as you can see, are a little bit fragile. This one I've broken the bumper loose on. Actually, I don't even think I did it. I think it was like that when I took it out of the package. But anyways, still beautifully done. Uh, so they executed that one very well and that one deserves a Christmas tree on the roof too I just wanted to wait till the last minute because I didn't want to scratch the green on it so we'll put him over here and then we'll kind of back up a little bit to take a look at our final 12 Chase Cars of Christmas, six Ultra Reds and six Greenies. I'm going to carry the Christmas theme, well, until Christmas is over with our Chase Car videos. Um, and next week I'll be doing white Chase Cars, some white lightnings and others for like a white Christmas. Uh, so I'll have that theme next week. And then come this weekend not sure what we're going to do i'm still planning to do the bonus video this week on the calsonic r32 uh from mini gt to give you guys a close-up look and unboxing on that piece uh but for our regular weekend video not sure what we're going to do yet so uh, just stay tuned, turn on your notification bell so you know when I do upload a video. If you have not subscribed yet, please remember to do so and then give me a thumbs up. And please share the video and tell your friends about my channel. I appreciate you guys watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you in a day or two with the Calsonic R32 from Mini GT. Thanks for watching.